my Dancing with the Stars trophy. Fourteen. Wow. Were you there, Tom? No. Oh, that was bad. <laughs>
Good with you guys. All right, first is the fire chief uh, referencing uh, the article passed and ready to buy a truck. <laughs> You welcome to come out or sit from there. Or, uh, how long have you had a truck committee put together for this research? Uh, we've been doing it we've probably three years. And that was about three, three, three or four years in general. Um, we went through uh, uh, HME, um, who are salespersons, place region, and, and uh, fire apparatus in the West. That's actually Tamworth is where it really is. Um, we've got the last two trucks from here that we talked to Crimson Fire. Um, we talked to them a couple times um, and they couldn't. We, we have an issue, we want everything pretty much inside as long as possible. Ladders, um, we had another issue with the ladders here. Of course, Frosty usually everybody knows how long the roads are. You know, we went to Virginia Fire at 4 o'clock uh, a couple weeks ago and you probably know from the past the trouble we've had with engine one going getting rid of the ladder brackets on yeah. we've had them redone like four times. Um, and again, because of the just the roughness of the road, one of them failed buckled again and dropped the ladders into the road. The idea is is to try and uh, because it's a, a 45 foot ladder that's on that is uh, to get it inside the tank so it slides in. And because of the length, it's got to go in over the pump compartment. Well, we've been talking with Crimson Fire, they didn't believe they could do that, or nor did they want to do that. Uh, Going through the tank or over the tank? No, it's sure. uh, They pocketed it out. Yep. It's all made. Um, most everything, um, the last few trucks we've got the 24 foot ladders, which is the average ladder. Um, it goes inside, the roof ladder goes inside the tank, and so is the attic ladder and the bike ladder. So everything just has its own department inside, keeps it out of the weather. It, it gets rid of the everything being on the outside from the wear and tear from the salt and sand and everything at one time. Um, HME says they can do that, that's not an issue. Because uh, we went back and forth with them a number of times and said we need to make sure that this is going to happen. Because we already own the lab. So we're going to use the existing lab we have. It was new two years ago. Yeah. Um, replacing the, uh, the 50 that we have. So they say they can do that, and they seem to have been the most um, accommodating to to our needs and, and wants of what we want on the truck. Um, we talked to Toyn as well. I wanted to. Um, they had an actual demo going around the northeast that was something similar to what we wanted. And I wanted to look at it, and after numerous attempts, couldn't. Uh, couldn't even make an attempt to make contact to even get it up this way. So and that's just to buy it if you have a problem and you really have trouble. Yeah, so that's the other thing. Um, they're local as far as the, you know, the workshop, as far as anything goes wrong with it. They're just in Tamworth. They also come down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do. Um, they got as, um, you know, we've been dealing with them off and on for, you know, 25, 28 years I've been dealing with them. Um, and it just, you know, there's both people to deal with, and, and we've had a lot of engine forks in the Springfield, and engine tubes down here. They have little issues, electrical, but anything new we buy with anything, it's yeah. the way they build so things down. Yeah, they're so complicated that you're going to get little issues, but uh, overall, they've been good. The price is still the same, which the contract says. Uh, they held the price for us. Um, so, uh, it'll take. Is that, is that 240 40 days, mm -hmm. which in, in the, this was the latest that I got in December, which they were holding the price till mm -hmm. April, uh, which 210 to 240. So they're, they're staying at their own limit. That's not to say it might be done a little bit before, but it usually takes about that long to build. Yeah. So, so everything's set. Teresa has the um, contract. Okay. Anybody have any issues or comments or questions? This is unique where it's tough. You just can't put it out to bid where it's not stock as standard. The bid process kind of starts early on where they get generic stuff, focus on the company, and, and then move forward with that versus actually designing something to be able to put it out to bid and everybody uh, going with that. 
we had originally um, the original date to try and, and purchase, remember, was in 2012. Mm -hmm. um, and due to you know the economy, you know, going back and everything, we cut back. Um, focused on the ambulance. Focused on the ambulance, focused on some other needs and try and cut back or that's a good put us behind, but uh, still doing fine, you know, and, and we're doing well to uh, you know, just happy we'll be able to do it this year. Uh, but it's been in the works so that if it, if we pretty much were able that in 2012, you know, we've been able to, uh, it's, it's the same wants and needs, it hasn't changed any, yeah. everything has, has remained the same. Uh, are they going to try to consign the existing trucks or? He's, what, what was in the works and if, if it does materialize, you know, I'll let you guys know, but what he was saying is, Usually I like to trade it in because of the age. He's not thinking that uh, once they get over 20 years old, this is very, very hard for somebody to actually pay a trade in. But there are people out there that would want it. But uh, so his his thought was, and it would still go toward the cost of the truck because if if we let him broker it, um, we could do uh, each one separately. If that was the case that he wanted to do, but he yep. he would try as we go along to uh, to broker the truck, and um, it would mean putting him in charge of the the uh, buying and selling thing. Yeah. But whatever we do get for money out of it, it would come off the cost of the truck, which in a sense would keep the um, <coughs> money in the account to, for a future fire truck. Would, would still be yes. revolving and stay there. Yes. Versus just throwing, if we sold it, it would end up in the general it's fund. It's general fund, and we're not. And it's I'm not hoping, a lot of money either, but. You know, but I'm hoping he can get more than, say, if we advertise it in the paper. If a scrap or. Even engine one, which is still, is still certified as a, as a class A pumper. Yeah. We're probably not going to get a couple thousand dollars for it. Yeah. Which if he can broker it through some of his people, then maybe, um, Somebody in northern Maine, somebody in northern Maine, Maine, or even down south, a third world country, would, would, would pick country. it up, would pick it up, and uh, yeah. we could get at least, hopefully, you know what it would be worth at this, yep. at this age. Um, I'll make a motion for the four hundred fifty-five thousand dollars to sign the contract with uh, HME or Lakes Region. HME is HME. Second. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. You're signing right underneath where, yeah, on that window, on that page, but underneath. Over there? Yeah, that. Not the three spots? Not the three spots, no. Just oh, that's the, a witness. It would just look a little more. It would be right here. Yeah. And then Nobody we'll witness. Nobody did. This is for HMB. Oh, yeah, yeah. And we'll witness you. Uh, we'll the same thing as that. Yes, but you're going to probably sign it here. And then you're. And then put your name down. And uh, I have a meeting with him next Wednesday night at 6 30. Because uh, I believe he's out with him for the rest of this week. So I'll be meeting him next Wednesday and we'll give him that. Okay. Do you want to? I'll put it up to the original in your box. I'll make a copy uh, just I'll, to. I'll stop and pick it up. Okay. And I'll just keep it with me until I meet with him. Okay. And, uh, and then we'll just go over everything, make sure everything is uh, is set, and, um, and then we'll give it to the company to sign it. I'm assuming we'll get the copy back once they sign it. I guess while we have you here, I'll take new business C out of order if you guys are all set with that. Homestar has an outstanding ambulance bill, a current way attached. It must be a very long bill. Either we need to send it to collections or um, write it off. I think I'd, if it's anything different, just send it back to you guys, review it, or have you already? No. Well, this, yeah. this is the list from 2000, uh, well, 2003 to 2009. It's 160000 outstanding. Um, this was brought up by the auditors. Mm -hmm. was, that it was out there. That it was out there. Yep. Um, so when I contact Comstar, they have this little thing that we can write it off if we choose to. Um, 
some of these people from, you know, Todd and I have talked, these people are probably now, some could be deceased, yeah. some could be moved, some, you know, a lot of these things from years ago, we have no idea. We haven't, we haven't even seen the list, we don't even know where it came from. Right, so yeah. they have never received this list. I don't know how this all got kind of dropped, but yeah. they've never gotten this. So now I'm getting it, and yeah. what I'm asking the board is, if you want to do the 2003, 2000 to 2009 write off, and we start fresh with 10, 11, 12, and 13 that I give to Todd to have him research, because those pages are a lot, <laughs> a lot less, yeah. and to see, like these will say no patient, I mean no response from patient, bad address. There's a lot of bad addresses, so if they don't have a current address and we don't, you're going to have to write it off. We just there's um, without that information. So, you know, you're talking, because then for 2010 is 27,000. You know, so there's quite a bit that you can mm -hmm. still collect for the current years, but these old years. Yeah, I think it's pretty bad to send a bill 10 years later. Yeah, you probably can't anyway. Right. Well, and I did ask him because then she sent me a thing in regards to a collection agency. And I, from what I remember when this was all signed was that the agreement was that we weren't going to send things to collection agencies. Is that how it originally was I talked believe about? it was. Don't they, don't they try to make contact at least three to four times? They do. These mm -hmm. people, yeah, Comstar will try to make contact, I think, three times. Yeah. After that, it just sits on this list. Then, but they do have a firm that they deal with that they could then send it to them and have them start contacting, and they're a collection agency then. I thought we um, made the decision to either eat it or go after right. That was my recollection of yeah. it, so um, you have to decide whether or not you want them to then send these bills to collection, and at that point, you get might get more residents then that come in and say, we can't pay it, yeah. or um, it goes on their reports. I mean, I, mm -hmm. I don't know. If you make a president not accepted, I mean, is, the, is that next list going to want the same results as what we're doing with this list? There's a chance some of it may, but at least it's a little current. Current. Yeah. That they we can at least look at it and we may be able to research it better than Oh, I don't, doubt that. That, I don't doubt the 10, 15 year old one. Yeah, but you're just from all three, the they probably think that we already wrote this off. Yeah. Or that Comstar wrote it off because it's been. Like I said, we don't know where that list has been. Because yeah, I haven't no, seen I it. Chase hasn't seen it. I mean, if you do it to one, you know, we have to be careful. Right. So, you know, with this old stuff, do you set a precedence just for that, but then anything from this point on type thing? Or do you do it from 2010? Well, you're going to have to. I mean, you're like you said, you can't chase a blind ghost. You don't even know where these people are. So this has been that long, but you have an opportunity to do these ones because the, the research would be less involved. At least the current right. stuff we can try to at least make an attempt. We still right. may not, you know, find a lot of them, but at least we can make an attempt and see what we can come up with. So write off the stuff before 2010. Yep. And move forward with this with the newer stuff. Okay. How do you let me stop this years. from happening again? So there is we know right? about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, that, and that's really it's what it boils down to. Supposed, I don't know what was happening before. Comstar is supposed to, is my understanding of it, it comes here and Teresa gets a hold of us, we review it, and and uh, help decide the best action from there. I mean, some of them we obviously may know that um, they either can't afford it. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of times, and one of the things that we, we've we always tried to impress is that we've had issues that some person would call. We had, we had a, a person call one day and would not give the address as to where she was. She was hurt. She had fallen down five stairs, or so far on stairs, and wouldn't give the address so that we could come help because she was afraid that she was supposed to come play the NFL. Yeah. And that's what I don't want. We can go through the process and whatever happens at the end, yeah, everybody's going to get a bill, but we can help decide what the outcome is going to be. Yeah, but yeah. we just need to get the paperwork in here, right. then we can... We I think go this was coming an email or This mail? was, um, I think it started off as mail. Yeah. Um, now it goes email to finance, which I guess it has been for quite some time. Mm -hmm. 
but it's also in with other information that they need to balance the accounts. Yeah. So I don't think this was being looked at. They just thought it was all part of the whole package and it was just exactly. kind of, you know, sitting there. So once I talked to Conda, I'm like, well, I don't get that. So she's now going to send it to both of us. Awesome. So that now I get it. And then yeah. I'll pull out this type of report and give it to Todd to review. I'll make a motion to discontinue any action on anything prior to 2010. Okay. 2000, 2009. 2009? Yeah, yeah, prior to 2010. Prior to 2010, I'm sorry, yes. Okay. Comments seconded? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Thanks for coming. Okay. I'll give you a copy of these two. Yep. Thank you. Have a good evening. Next, we have the road engineer. Hi, Freddie. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. How are you? This is fine. Thank you. Fine. Should be fine, Fred. Well, I've uh, been looking around and uh, for a truck, I made these guys up for you because we found this. This one ready to uh, set the print on the wall. Uh, Teresa? Oops, I'm sorry. This Thank one. you. And uh, the other the two trucks we uh, got prices on are just cabin and chassis that have to be built. This one is all set on the wall in uh, Vermont. Very yeah, it's, it's, it's new, right? Yep, brand new. Inside covers that your price is what the truck yeah. is, and then you have to add on another uh, back page 70, uh, 79000 for the uh, equipment that's on. This is very on, on your uh, price of all your equipment and what is on the truck. Wing, but dump body, uh, bow, bow frame. Uh, this one actually comes to fifty-nine thousand. The seventy-nine thousand is the one that uh, gentleman gave us for the truck we were looking at in the Peterbilt. From the, the, the standard way you want it to be. Yes, yeah. this has got the. Uh, to the front of the tires, yeah, correct? We made uh, hopefully three or four better improvements on the on what we want for the truck. Has the side down where it comes to the side comes out right over those sides. Yeah, comes right over the hind wheels on the on the left hand side down onto the spinner. So you just have a little narrow change so that the big thirty inch change like we have now. Uh, we've gone to a single heavy duty single frame as well as spec specking out and with going with uh mud wheels instead of the Dayton wheels and this she here is for fenders. I like to call it, put uh, yeah, call it fenders on. I think it would really help the body from have all the slush, sand, salts just fly up on the body. And I, and I think it helps keep it off the inside of the frame also. Even though we have gone to single frame, heavy duty single frames this time when we're specking them out. So, Fred, are you saying? The in, 179? Yeah, inside. Plus right on the inside cover. This one. That, that's the price of the truck. This and one. then uh, the one in the back is the price of uh, all the equipment. 59. The 59. Five. Five. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Why. No, that'd be. Uh, let me add this up. I don't know. It uh, comes to like 188. If you got 59 and 179, that comes to 238. Yeah, and you've got 218 in the capital reserve. Yeah, we're well, looking at 59,000 and one, let's just call it 180 and 60. You've got 149,000, yeah. 249,000. The price of the truck is 179 right. and 35. Right, Correct. plus 59.5. Uh, 59.5. Is this one? No, I think that's the total price of the truck, 179. With the 59. With it. Oh, with oh, the 59? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so how much is for the be putting all the stuff on? How do you guys do that? No, I mean, that truck's all built. That, that's 179.9. Yeah. Or whatever. Like 180. 
Well, it comes from 188.935 because we have to Ball purchase a plow. Okay. And the $1,500 with the fences. Right. So that's fine. We got, we got money for that. Yeah, because yeah, it came in just because uh, the Peterbilt, having it built, came into like 206 or something like that. Mm -hmm. And they offer this, but this is with no trade also. They're right, you were thinking about 15000 for a trade so, or so, right? I mean, this is the price of the truck. Are we going to trade it there or are you keep it? Well, it's, uh, I guess, yeah. 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 you decide to do or uh, it's whatever a, they, if they yeah. want. Yeah, it's the 10 wheeler? No, it's the Kenworth, the 2000 Kenworth. So you're going it's with a 10 wheeler? Going to a 10 wheeler, yes. So you like two 10 wheelers? About three 10 wheelers. Uh, See, this is why I don't know anything about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, now no. the, Did you have this out? Is this the side dump? Did yes, it's the side that? dump. Yeah. Okay. Uh, body on it. Um, How do you think that would utilize with you guys? I think it's work, or what do you think would use the side dump more? Well, the side dump is basically to put the sand, sand over onto the chain so it comes out in front of the hind wheel on mm -hmm. the driver's side instead of running down the center of the truck like they do now and then falling off on all the Bright canisters, the yeah. valves, and yeah. the airlines, and and all that. I think it will uh, help on you know keeping the truck a lot nicer and you know cleaner. Right now, a lot you know, especially the valves, the air valve things and everything inside. Does it rear dump too? Yes. Yeah, yeah we'll dump so like a regular dump truck. Yeah, it has an air gate on it. But it just has like a dump body inside of that body, so it pushes mm -hmm. the sand rolls well, to the left hand side. side. Right. <coughs> that makes a little bit more sense than just a straight side dump. I I think it will you know really want add to the life of the truck. I think you know having it out there and with the fenders, so I think will even help the body a lot more. You know from getting all the sand, salt, and everything. Thrown up off the wheels onto the frame. And, you know. This is, uh, it, it's somewhat custom, but I mean, these are spec, these are on the ground, they're out there. How does this work for putting out the bid, Teresa? Should we advertise it on the website for a couple of weeks, anyways? Uh, we know where it is. And you don't have to. You have the, um, the right to decide not to. To go to bed. To go to bed. Yeah. Well, it says, it's showing uh, red. You've, you've searched. Those words and well, it's just, yeah, we, oh, all, we found oh, one oh, last year. Oh, it was a West Pass. Yeah, basically the same thing, thing all cool. set up. And that was right around the same price. Two hundred, yeah. one ninety, two hundred. I mean, I don't have a problem with the price. It's just, you know, the neglect of staff. Yeah, I don't think we've ever put capital items out. For bit, no. You know, like we're no. not doing the fire truck. You know, and that's just some custom, and it takes years to put that together. Um, pickup trucks. Trees usually gets in with the state bid the packages and stuff state, like yeah, that. Yeah, that's that. what we did with the pickup yeah. the transfer station and French truck last year. Um. And they're going to take the truck in for trading. Well, I haven't talked to them because I want to talk to these people first, find out where we were. Uh, maybe I get them to bring this down, look at look this one over, plus look at theirs, and let them look at our Kenworth. Yeah. And see what yeah. they offer. Yeah, if they offer ain't that much, you're coming in at a pretty good price at one, well, about $1.90 like you buy fenders and the plow. Yeah, how much did you say the plow was again? Uh, I'm sorry. $7,500. Okay, so the email, email the back. Okay, the email on the email. back yeah. will send it to me. <laughs> okay. Then the price here for the fenders that uh, Donovan okay. gave us is a pair that we bought last year for a chucky truck when we uh, oh, had the, the frame redone. Okay. We had the extra money, so I had fenders put on that mm -hmm. to, yeah. to help it. You know, we just had the frame redone. Yeah, so you're about 189000 for everything. Yeah. How many years do you anticipate another truck you need? Well, the uh, like to trade with it for maybe the next three years or something like that. Uh, this will leave us with a little bit of money left in our account, you know, plus the trade. Fifteen, twenty thousand dollars. I'm not exactly sure just how much, but yeah. it'll leave us a little bit of a cushion to start with and uh, raise some more money. Plus, whatever they take off the trade, if they give us a trade of ten thousand or whatever, yeah. it'll uh, 
give you that extra 10 in the uh, capital reserve fund for the truck. Is the next one, so we start out maybe with 29 or 30,000. So. Yeah, it doesn't cost anything to put this ourselves on Craigslist or something. There. I mean, why do we shy away from maybe throwing it on something and selling it ourselves for a little more money than the trader? Because we know traders are not going to give you it. If it'll go into the general fund, it won't go back into the capital reserve. Yeah, it's attractive. We've already yeah. back to the back end. Um, I mean, if there's a substantial difference, I'd look at that. But um, I think trading wise, they'll probably give you pretty close to fair. Um, we're not buying it tonight, anyways. We well, no, I just wanted to propose that you might look at it. Looks great. See, yeah. where, yeah. see, you know, see where we stood. Yeah, yeah. and if we stand, that we might be interested in. Looking at it, I'll get a hold of them the first of the week and see if we can work something out with either get that one down here or uh, Val and myself go up there and yeah. look it over and see what they want to do, just pictures of ours or if you know they want to send a salesman down to look it over or mm -hmm. you no, know, I just thought I'd bring up the polls of what we had. Mm -hmm. you know, so you guys could see what it is and you know we've worked on it. Uh, you know, I think a pretty good Pretty good price, found a nice truck. We've updated to the mud wheels, also instead of the Dayton wheels. Yeah, I see that. So that uh, the wheels happen to come with the truck, firm ones, but I mean, uh, they're a lot better wheel than the uh, than the Dayton ones. In the single frame. The you get a good driver to drive it? Uh, well, depends on who's going to. I was just going to go where? I don't know what route he uh, Well, uh, it, it will, it's scheduled to be down this end. Yeah. It will be either Union or uh, East Wakefield, either Dodge Smalls, or the Acton Ridge push truck. But it all depends on who who we have. I don't know. Daryl's getting done. He's, he's talking about it. So I don't know who wants to move. Right. Yeah, where yeah. on who will be driving it for sure. Yeah. Can't yeah. yeah, say, but it'll be probably either Lee or Chucky at this point. One of, one of those two or whoever we you decided to put Daryl does decide. Yeah. And we replace it. So I mean, that's kind of a I think you're on the right track, isn't it? Yeah, like I said, I have three three proposals with Peterbilt, Mac, and this one here. So I think I'm I'm good. You know, keep heading in the right direction. If you're interested. In, Wait, um, should we should we set a goal for this? I mean, so it doesn't set around forever. So let's have a goal that you know that uh, he needs to have an answer by us, or if he's already got his answer, continue forward and and start getting ready to purchase. I mean, how's this? What are we, what are we waiting for? I'm going to let the department head make sure he's got the truck he wants, and he'll come yeah. back at the next meeting. Okay. The meeting after that. All right. Well, then you guys are. All in favor of uh, looking at this road, I'll, uh, uh, I'll uh, contact them and see if we can get them down here and get it rolling. Get it rolling. Like I say, it's setting their trades to go up by, if we buy one chassis and go that way, we're going to be probably five, six months before we uh, get the truck put together. Exactly. Yeah. So, plus, this is an automatic also. It's not a standard. So, we can all drive it then. Yep. <laughs> um, I, I thought we'd try to move up to it. Everybody seems to like them that has them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Todd's got two of them. He likes them real well. So, uh, now the we just bought, I don't know, 10 or 15 of them. Yeah. yeah awesome. they're, they're very happy with them. So, uh, five years ago, they were real expensive. Go to go with the automatic. It's, they've got it down now, so it's yeah. you know, almost yeah. an option now instead of a Cool. All right. Thank you for coming out. Thank you. What's what's the model, uh, brand of the truck? You said what's the This is a freight line. We well, have freight line. Yeah, we have two two freight liners now. Oh, okay. And that's we have three members of our zoning board of appeals here tonight. You guys just looking for a night out, or did you uh, <laughs> want to talk? I just thought Joe and I come up. We'll be brief. Three minutes. Three minutes. Yeah, we have some appointments and things like that.
So yeah. long story short, um, George and I have been on the board for a number of years, and we have um, played hot potato with the chair and vice chair. Mm -hmm. And we'd like to spread the wealth. And with your approval, what we're proposing is that George and I step down as members of the ZBA, and uh, you allow us to be alternates on the board, which would allow other people that have been alternates or anyone else that might want to ask to, to join the board, but would allow folks to step up and to, uh, you know, to take over. Um, we feel that you know, we, the group that we've worked with is a great group, including the, the alternates. We've got three alternates now that have been on as alternates for a long time and have put in their time. And um, we believe that, you know, with us still being there as alternates, that we'd be there to help in any instances where people need. And if we'd be there as, you know, essentially a member of the public, if we're not sitting on the board and could, you know, in, you know provide input if needed and wouldn't be sort of just walking away, yeah. um, but we'd still be there to, for support. So that's what we're here to discuss. Um, George is a little bit more, um, I don't know, critical about the way we ask. In other words, we're looking for your approval. If, we're, if we don't get your approval for this, we may reconsider and stay on as more of a board. So, so um, I don't have a problem. You guys want to go to alternates? Yes. And then your board yourself would be the ones to figure out who's chair. Absolutely. Yeah, it's yes. Yes. To do with us. yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. Although you would have to, I guess, agree. You would have to approve the the folks that were all looking to vote. Correct. And we have those appointments tonight. Members are on top, and they all should have to be. So you have your members here, and then the alternates that would like to be alternates. So if you. Is this accurate, or do you guys need to take a look at this and come back? It should be, because we walked we walk through that at the last meeting. Right. They had a meeting last week, and they pointed me with an alternate, and now it's going to be Right. So you'll see the um, slips in the back. Yep. Just to confirm, you lined up with John Crowell, Cecile Arnon, Rudy Sostrom, John Napakoski, and Sharon Thielen as members. Correct. I know that we do exactly what. Tony just said. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second exactly what Tony just said. I just like to look at it. Okay, I'm sorry. These are bringing your alternates up to full board members. Yeah, so they'd still be, um, so Steve and you guys would be, would remain as an alternate. Yep. And then George and I. And I think that would, that would allow for other alternates to come on too. Yeah, you've got to rotate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the reason for this? There is no, yeah, so good, good question. There is no other reason for this um, other than just spreading the wealth. Okay. We did talk about this last year when there was some movement around the town hall and George and I decided, you know what, let's just not try to stir the pot and think yeah. there's anything else you know, that's okay. going on here. Because there isn't. Okay. I don't know if you want to well, agree I, with me on that. I definitely hopefully. agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> we discussed it then. Did you bring an alternate with you, or is it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Sharon decided to, to come. And, yeah. Are you, are you an alternate, or? What? I'm going to Yeah. You've probably been an alternate for 10 years. He's been alternate for a long time. Yeah. He has been, he's been faithful about yeah. all the Yeah, it's a good board when you don't have people um, quitting, resigning, dying off, and the commander. You guys have held together pretty good for quite a while, so. Is John Carl getting done? No, he wants to stay on. So I think so I think he well, may yeah. have to renew. He, because his term was up. Yeah. So you need to you need to reappoint. Oh, reappoint these positions. Yes. Right. That's what you're yeah. doing. It's all reappointed. And this what's this guy's been? John Al uh, Preston. This one here. Yeah, he's yeah. currently an alternate. And we would like to be a member. We want to be a member. <laughs> the pay the is outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> the perks are unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Um just to keep the continuity of the board, um, we, I, I, our philosophy is basically to mitigate uh, hardship and legis legislative oversight. And, you know, rather than have somebody that comes in that's trying to, you know, legislate from the, from the zoning board as far as planning board activities, I just want to stay on and be a full member. 
And when I was a liaison on that board, I probably told you guys, I think it's the hottest board there is because the applicant thinks, and he's your neighbor, can, that you can just grant them this. Yeah, and right. You look at state law or RSA, and a lot of towns do, on rubber stamp, everything. You know, the zoning board, you're all set, yeah. but. Yeah, it could be difficult. Yeah, yeah, if you look at the law and how it's yeah, written, and the, the hardship that really needs yeah. to be created. Yeah. Yeah. They, they make it so that there's really no hardship. You can't fulfill the four criteria to be given. You know, so I, I've always thought through my bottom of the board, you really don't fill the hardships. There's one of those hardships that you cannot fill. I don't care how you do it, you just can't. So it's all in the judgment of the board to, to break it down to where they think is hardship. Because I've, I've filled up their papers many times, and uh, you just can't fill them. It's, it's an impossible task to make all four criteria. I don't know if it's four anymore, but it was always four. Right. So we had, a, we had a motion made and seconded. Did you? Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. All those who go to Valerie, and then you have to go and get started. Yeah. But probably yeah. not until Friday, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming.
Yeah, if you want a motion for it, I'll make a motion for that. $25,301. dollars we got it. A second that. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. There's a purchase order that I have to send them in order for them to start the process. All three of you need to sign. Oh. I sent the, I got some information from another town, sent it to Rick, made sure that everything looked okay as far as the posting and the bid amount of the deposit, I mean, um, that kind of stuff. So basically, it's you know putting it out there that we're looking for a sealed bid, yep. and this is for the um, request. Now you will refuse any and all. Yep. Yep. Um, states the property, and then we have a bidder acknowledgement form that we would have them sign when they came in. They need to give a thousand dollars to start the bid or to submit the bid, and. That's what Basically, it's pretty. Yes. Yeah, they don't yes. get it, then they get it. 30, and then 30 days um, after is when the closing is. Yep. Or you lose Within the money. 30 days, or you lose the money. Yep. Um, yeah, he didn't see anything that we missed. I'm good with it. So, if you're right, it's we'll not bad ahead. if you got you know a half a dozen of them to deal with. but. Yeah, but just one, it'll be so much easier yeah. to do it this time around. Yep. No one kind of figuring out how to do it. And yep. Uh, and just so you know, the bid for the scrap metal is already on the website. And cool. That's out there right now, also. Um, we took care of Comstown already. Yep. No capital reserves, no correspondence, public comment, no public comment. That is a transfer truck with Brainwood Mall. For the 2015 Ford F 250. F 250. Huge 
ornament that sits on our desk. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's only appropriate that that gets acknowledged. But thank you. Isn't that the town and minister's report? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I love it. Report that? I can do that. <laughs> I can't dance for you, though. I don't know my partner. <laughs> As I can say, they did a fantastic, all of them, all of them yeah. really did a fantastic job. Oh, so wrap my thing. So I can administer it. Interrupt it. Okay. So my trophy here <laughs> is for uh, the Parks and Rec program that was run this past Sunday, which was Dancing with the Stars. There was um, ended up being six couples that did a dance for two to three minutes. We had a humongous turnout. If that's even a word. But um, uh -huh. 350 or so people showed up for this. We had great judges. We had. Um, Ken Fifield, Connie Twombly, uh, Janet Bai, and Dave um, Gattadero. And they did great. We, and he was being the judge that Dave was Dave. being the, I'm not going to call him a mean, or do I want to call him a mean, mean, not bad. Not bad. mean <laughs> judge. And then you had the judges that were giving some pretty good scores. But then the audience was the ones that actually picked the winners. Um, they each came in, when they came in, they had a piece of paper, the color of the team that we were, and they threw it in a hat, and it was counted at that, and Miss Cindy's little kids over there did a little dance between counting the votes. So and who won? Was really not. <laughs> Teresa and Joe Williams. Oh, of okay. the town hall, not of the Paul School. Because <laughs> <laughs> we did have contestants from the Paul School, so yes. So would you like to just say it one more time? Yes, yes I won. Teresa I never win anything. I was so excited. I jumped up and down the stage. It will be on Clearview TV, but it will be a couple weeks before it's aired. Um, so it takes a little time to piece all that together. But yes, it was very exciting. And we, we uh, take the challenge for next year to defend our title. That was the first annual. First annual. So that's, right. that's going to be You know how much yeah. was raised? Around 1300 Wow. Yep. That's good. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so it was a really, it was a fabulous turnout. Okay, so, now on to business. <laughs> I just wanted to let you all know that the town clerk's office starting April 1st will have new clerk hours. Put that on the TV. It is on our website. Uh, what is changing is her Monday hours will be extended from 1.30 to 4. She was 8.30 to 1.30, now she's going to be 8.30 to 4. And her Thursday hours are being extended to 6 p.m. So Thursdays will now be 8.30 to 6. And all other hours stay the same. Um, and I have been in touch with Judy Brenner from Brookfield, who created the Brookfield seal, town seal. Uh, she's very talented. Very talented. She has also created the um, Carroll County seal. Wow, that's I didn't realize amazing. that she oh, did that also. The one okay. of the complex up there that's yes. very red. Yeah, she was the one that created that. Wow. So I've been in, she came and visited me yesterday. We kind of tossed around a lot of different things, talking about that we have seven lakes in our town, yeah. we have a lot of villages, that we um, you know, the rare, we had three railroads that ran through, you know, stops in town many years ago. You know, so we did a lot of different things like that. She's going to try to come up with, them, with an idea and a cost for that. And I'll get back to you, but I want to let you know that we, I was glad to find that out. I was having a hard time yeah. trying to figure out who I was going to get. So where she's already, oh, I guess I would want to know, do you want it to be round or oval? It doesn't matter. I think they sent them up with her uh, once okay, the idea um, starts. Yeah, because that's what she, she's like, this yeah. one's oval, this one's round. So. Well, um, I mean, once she gets ready to move forward, I would say just attending a um, Heritage Commission meeting to, to get full effect of. Well, I've asked her to call Pam mm -hmm. to talk to her about uh, any information. I, you know, I mentioned how we didn't really want a specific building unless mm -hmm. maybe it was the town hall, and she kind of worked around that. Mm -hmm. She was going to be able to Pam also. And I have, um, this came up from the audit. This is an old uh, outstanding bill of tipping fees at the sewer from a person that was started, looks like, from back in 2008. And 
the auditors would like to know, do we want to just write this off now? I, will I don't really want to say the name. So I'll pass mm -hmm. the information. That was the letter that was written when I first started. Mm -hmm. And I got no correspondence from that. Wow. That yeah, was I don't the think amount. In business anymore. No, no, not in business. Uh, the current total now with yeah. interest is about twenty three hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, That's going to make it harder. I mean, we don't have a lot of users in there now, but you just shorten the leash and you don't allow somebody to get in debt like that, or you will. You nowadays uh, you secure a credit card from somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, I don't know. Is this person even exist anymore? No. And you also look okay with writing yep. it off? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's, yeah, just fine. it's currently 2300 right now. Yeah. 2300. Yeah. So we'll write that off. Okay. And just my one other thing. Um, things that were coming around in email that uh, other towns were asking about. Uh, some towns have a Board of Selectmen Procedure Manual. Now, I know a lot of the things that you do are set by RSA and that kind of thing, but um, I didn't know if that would be of some interest that you would like me to type up or kind of present. I mean, it really went from really like the beginning, like what we just did. Mm -hmm. Organizational meeting, this is what you do, this is the mm -hmm. step you follow. Um, you have time for that. I mean, it sounds to me like it's... It, well, I could take a lot of wording that. from the other manuals. Um, so I mean, if I you have time, procedure. you know the procedure. I mean, I guess it's if somebody new was starting, it would be something I could give to somebody to say, this is... Okay, so you got three years to worry about it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, let's see. I so you got to make sure you're running right. right. Yeah. 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 Um, so it's just something I wanted to throw out there if that was of any I mean, I don't interest. care as long as it doesn't interrupt your job. I don't think it's that important. Okay. If I, it's but if you want to fill in something, and you want to work in the ordinance book right now. So. I think yeah. how Kenny's got it operate now with the, with how we proceed our meeting. I think yep. this is why he's sitting. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Great. That's all I have. I'll have to move to alternate to get somebody else. To yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff coming. Uh, appointments for parks and rec. And not only do you have parks and rec, but you also have a couple for conservation. Right. Parks and rec are what we've had in your packet. I'll make a motion to accept the money I was there for the meeting, so mm -hmm. um, they're all good. They're all part of it anyway, so. Yeah, and they're all attending. They're all attending. They're all attending meetings. Yeah, and it's very, it, their meetings are, are very little. And uh, it's hard for them to, they're getting the, uh, the, um, the participation yeah. that they should get over there by audience. So. Uh, Mark Cotton, Greg Paul, and Mr. LeVite. Yeah, so I'll make a motion to accept all three of them. A second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. How many have conservation? Uh, conservation has submitted two, uh, both members. So just reinstating the new membership? Yes. Dave Mankus and Ralph Fogg. Both of them? Two. Second. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Second, right? 
Treasurer's Warrant Number 10, 2014, $147,367. Motion carried. Second. Aye. 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 Aye.
Uh, motion for so non-public. Motion for non-public. Are we going to keep this for next meeting, or are we going to decide that tonight? The liaison. None of it really has any meetings before now and then. Yeah, we'll put it on the list for next. Next meeting. meeting. Okay. I'll try to soften shot there for the meantime. I like all the ones I have. Yeah. If you have, I feel all, you have all the tough ones. It hasn't really happened. I mean, I, I feel say comfortable. It's really not much. Okay, we're on that non public? Yeah. Motion to go on the non public. Uh, Second aye. by Tom Bliard. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. the official way. That's the official way. He had the uh, notebook on how the procedural manual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm, I'm there. there. <laughs> How much letter are we going under? Uh, yeah, come on. Lee? Lee, I thought. Do you want me to give you the. Yeah. What's that in plain English? Iron. This is compensation. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hey, the chair should know this automatically. Yeah. Oh. Well, on. Depends on us to know for. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.